Oh, hey, I know you. Welcome back, folks. Got a nice quick one for you today. This is a little rendition of a video I originally meant to post two years ago when I made this controller for the transmission in my truck. Now, to give you a quick rundown, you can see that the output from the controller goes right into this connector that I made up through the firewall, where it then wraps around here and with through another connector I made up, taps in to the harness going to the transmission where that yellow heat shrink is. And I've been asked a few times why I haven't made a video about this project. So, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. So before we get too far into this, we gotta understand how this transmission even works in the first place, right? So an automatic transmission works off a of hydraulic pressure and the computer controls that hydraulic pressure through the use of solenoids. Now in the transmission in my truck, there are only two shift solenoids. And then of course, there's another solenoid for the torque converter and there's another solenoid to control mainline pressure. But right now, all we're worried about is the two shift solenoids. So when the computer selects first gear, solenoid A is the only one on. Then if the computer wants second gear, neither of these two solenoids are gonna be on. And the reason second gear is the one that has neither on is in case there's a failure, you'll at least have second gear and you can limp home. Now, if the computer wants third gear, it's only going to turn on solenoid B. And when it finally wants fourth gear, it can turn both of them on. And that will give me fourth gear. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, there's also the torque converter clutch. And that is controlled by this little switch right here. In some vehicles, it is a slow pulse width modulated signal to kind of smoothly engage. I only use it once I'm up to speed on the highway, so it doesn't really matter that it's just an on and off kind of deal. Now that we know how the computer is controlling this transmission, how are we going to control the transmission? Well, we know from the table earlier that if I want first gear, I only want A on. If I want third, I only want B on. And if I want fourth, I want them both on. So how am I going to do that in the simplest way possible? I could set up a whole stack of relays to so get through it. You know, each relay comes on and it does each circuit, but I would have a whole bunch of wires and this would be ridiculous. I'm trying to do this with the fewest amount of wires and components as possible. So the way this works is these solenoids are always fed a fused battery voltage and the computer grounds out each one. So that's the way I'm gonna control it also. So when I want first gear, I just turn on solenoid A, fine and dandy. Same thing with second, I don't do anything and I get second, so that's great. And then third, I only turn on B and everything's fine and dandy. But then when we get to fourth gear, I need to somehow be able to close a switch that turns both of these on, but also I need to be able to turn them on individually. And if I hook this up so that it powers both of those, then when I'm trying to turn on one at a time, it'll backspeed through this line. So we need a couple diodes to block when I have just A and just B on and still allow the current to come in and go to ground when I want them both on. So now to do this, I could just wire two individual switches and turn them on like this when I wanted first, second, third, and fourth. But that's kind of silly. And a couple of years ago when I was coming up with this design, the first thing I thought of was these controllers for wheelchairs, you know? And then I started looking into these controllers and I found ones that latch like this. Cause you know, normally when you let go, it goes back to middle so that people in wheelchairs don't go out of control. But they also sell these ones that latch for other special applications, which this is one of. So as mentioned before, there's the two diodes and this uh, shifter here is made up of a bunch of switches. It's really just four switches. If you look right here on the side, you can see as I shift this, there's the contact shifting and there's two switches on that side and two switches on this side. So now I got these four switches and what I did was run ground in to all four of them on one side and on the other side, since I only need three, I only hooked up to three of them, but I hooked up my first, third, and down here with the diodes is fourth, just like in the diagram. And you can see inside the tin going out to solenoids A and B. And then of course, on the side, I have this switch that goes straight to the torque converter solenoid. Now in the original design, you can see this big hole here. In the original design, I had a pull switch that you pulled up to lock the torque converter. And it was fun and all, but it was a cheap switch and it wore out fast. So I ended up going with this one, a little more sturdy. 
So I'm, I threw this board together as a quick way to test the function of the shifter. You can see this is the connector I made up to go through the firewall in my truck. And I have a second end here to go right into my tester. And then what I do really quick and dirty here, we hook up positive to the yellow, ground to brown. No resistors or anything. So the LEDs are all different intensities. It's a little janky, but that's the name of the game, ain't it? Here on this channel. This is in second right now. So nothing's lit because remember second, neither solenoid is activated. Then I go down into first gear. We're blinded with the brightness of a thousand suns as this LED roasts under the 65 milliamps. That's solenoid A. We go into second, again, everything's off. Go to third, solenoid B comes on. And then when I come over to fourth, a and B are on. Perfect. Let's lock the torque converter. There you go. So this thing is functioning as expected. All right, folks. Well, that was it. This is a nice quick little treat for you. So as I mentioned, and this, this project was sort of the prototype or proof of, proof of concept of what I wanted to do. Now I need to get more advanced because as you might have remembered, I mentioned earlier that there's also a solenoid that controls mainline pressure, which controls the harshness of the shift. Normally the computer sends that a pulse with modulated signal, you know, 0% is the lowest pressure and 100% is the highest pressure. So I need to come up with a pulse with modulation driver that I can use to control that solenoid. Maybe have a potentiometer hooked up to it and that'll be how I control the mainline pressure. But at any rate, I digress. See you next time. So I got a quick little treat for you today. God forbid I die if somebody tries driving this fucking thing. And just as a side note for anybody wanting to do this to their own transmission, certain transmissions like this uh, A5 SR2 out of a uh, Kia, uh, I think this particular one came out of a Borrego, but it's in a bunch of Kia and Hyundais. They have a secondary controller built inside the transmission. That's what this is right here. So the PCM that controls the engine and the transmission actually talks to this control unit inside the transmission. So it wouldn't be so easy to just wire directly up to the control solenoids. And even if you could, this is controlled completely differently. You don't have uh, shift A and B or C and D solenoids. So they have the mainline pressure and the torque converter clutch, but then there's the direct clutch and the front brake, and there's the input clutch to help smooth shifting out, and there's a the high-low clutch, and there's a low coast. And so the way it works is just very different, and it would be a totally different process. It's still possible, but you would have to get inside the transmission, gain access to the valve body here, and tap into these wires after this secondary control unit. And so all of that is really just to say that every transmission is different. Although they all work in a very similar way, you need to do research into how your specific transmission is controlled before you can just hook up a bunch of switches to the solenoids.